Welcome back to Fuji Split, and I'm still continuing this new series, OP Tank or OP Player. And this time we're looking at the standard B versus WID of 49 Div. Good friend of mine in the clan with me, and he's going to roll out in a tune with another good friend of mine, Valvet Underwear of FTC1. Now, in the thumbnail, you'll notice that I've sort of left this comment which says, All report the standard. More about that later. So, this is WID rolling out in the standard B. Now, these are good replays, guys. And the idea of this series is to work out is the player OP or is it the tank that's OP? The standard B is a fantastic tier 9 pan-European, aka Italian, tank. And it's got the auto-loading, auto-loader, or the auto-reloader, as it's called. It makes no odds to me. It's a fantastic tank. It's got good maneuverability. It's got, okay, slightly pants armor, but it's got a fantastic gun. And, you know, I never really knew how good the Italians were at making tanks until Blitz decided to release these tanks. And I'm still... Uh, maybe I should do a history lesson on them, but that's a different series. This is OP tank or OP player, and it's for you to decide. So, at the moment, Wid's not really got much into the action. Oh, and there you go, he's off the blocks with 361 damage straight into the STB-1, which is a really tricky tier 10 tank. And there he goes again, another 300. And his toon mate, Valvet Underwear, takes him out. So, Wid's off to a flying start. And as you can see, the tank itself is pretty nifty. It's got that Leo PTA look about it. But it's got better, oddly enough, it's got better armor, and it's got a slightly better, it's got a much better gun. And the accuracy on the, uh, on, on, on the standard beat is pretty nice as well. He's still there, okay, he did, talk, and watch Wid, he has desperately trying to get out of the way of that turret. There's a reason for that, which is going to be subject to another video, so I'm not going to give the game away just yet. But Wid has learned his lesson, let's just say that, and now he gets out of the way of flying turrets so 1373 damage here okay it's a bit of a con this one because it is a supremacy game and in supremacy yeah it is slightly different than it is in normal encounter but that's not the point a lot of people have said that certain tanks are op and i don't buy this argument i don't think the tank is op i generally think the player is but hey it's for you to decide not me I think Wid's having a good roll out here. He's using the tank to the most advantage that he can get. He's staying in a good position all the way through. You can't fault his gameplay. Although some of the players on his team don't like it. Despite the fact that, you know, so far he's taken a kill and he's been instrumental in quite a lot of dishing out damage. In fact, he's done now 2,500 damage. Don't forget, he's, he's effectively a bottom tier tank, really. He's tier 9 in a tier 10 game. And he's got some pretty nifty, mean tanks out there. Uh, there's a VK-72 rolling around. There's a Jack Tiger somewhere. We've seen there's a WZ. And, you know, there's, there's some pretty mean tanks out there. So it's not like he has got an easy run in on this and there's the wz there and look at that just one big red tomato to this poor little italiano tank so weird is doing what you should do and he's biding his time and he finally gets one into the t-54-7 heavy uh who then decides to move around a building so he can't get any more into him and again there's another tank that's pretty tricky to get to grips with there's that vk-72 he always smacked him earlier smacks him again he's now at over 3213 damage but is it the tank or is it the player this is the question oh and look so already somebody on wid's team is saying standard nope don't like you look too stupid sleep <laughs> you'll generally find that the chieftain mark six chap uh sort of died first <laughs> he probably yellowed in and got 
wasted. And the best he can do now is just abuse everybody else who is base. It looked, all report the standard. <laughs> I love that. Apart from the fact that he's done like 3,560 odd damage, you want him reported. Now he's done 3,860 odd damage, but you still want to report him. Okay, fair assessment, I guess. <laughs> oh, I gotta love it. This is great play by Wid, and I would not say it's the tank that is OP. It's definitely the player because of the way he's playing it. You stick this tank out in the open, you're gonna get wasted from all days and, and twice on Sundays. It's as simple as that. If you play it correctly and strategically and sensibly like Wid is doing here, then you will get the most out of this tank. As I said, okay, it's supremacy mode. And he's running down the clock, but why not? But look at this for a shot. I mean, that VK is just trying to get the gun depression down. He ain't going to do it. Wid does, takes him out, gets three kills, does 4,103 damage, wins the game for them, effectively. But no doubt the Mark VI is still going to report him. It is a fantastic mastery. And you saw there, he gets more credits than what the last player did, i.e. his royalty in the Fosh. He only got 42,000. Wid gets 49,000. That has been Wid versus the standard B. OP tank or OP player? It's for you to decide, guys. Comment and like and everything below. If you haven't pressed subscribe yet, please do so. It's a lovely thing to do. Put a smile on my face. And look, the Chieftain Mark VI only did 403 damage. Ouch! That's gotta hurt. Um, by all means, if you want to support me, become a patron or follow me on Twitter, Facebook and all the other sort of jazz. And until the next time, guys, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that's what it's all about, having fun and being happy.